Hello everybody, now I would like to spend a few minutes talking about the concept of white in Chinese language. Many of my students, I mean, you might find the word white or bai is constantly used in the textbooks as a sort of a compliment for one Chinese to address to, to describe another. And some of my Western students have found it quite strange, and I would like to talk about that. Of course, when we talk about the word white as used in the textbooks to complement each other, I'm not talking about this kind of white, as white person or white race, Anglo-Saxon people, even though um, they do look very attractive, we, you know, look at them, so happy with their... Uh, perfect teeth and perfect smile. They must be Americans, aren't they? <clears throat> anyway, so I'm not talking about them, which in Chinese, um, they can be called Bai Ren or Bai Zhong Ren. Zhong, the Chinese character Zhong, means race or uh, species. And it can be omitted in this phrase. You can say Bai Ren or Bai Zhong Ren to mean white people or white person. Even though I have to admit that Chinese people have this fascination about white people, uh, a lot of my white students, when they are in China, if they are walking the streets, they might be asked to take a photo with them. And uh, I think very generally, very generally speaking, um, a, lot, a lot of Chinese people would find white people attractive. Uh, in a way. Right, but again, that's not what I'm talking about. Uh, although that could be one of the reasons why people use the word white to complement each other. Right? Uh, and again, that's not what I'm trying to say in this uh, uh, video. What I'm trying to say is in this video is a Chinese person that looks more pale or whiter with skin comparing with darker skin. And uh, sentences or phrases can be found in people's daily conversation, such as "ta zhang de hen bai." Ta he or she zhang de means appears to be or looks like. Hen uh, bai hen bai is used to describe looks like zhang, so he looks like very white and you find two people talking with each other, one might say, oh, 你白了, you are now whiter than before, right? And so what do they really mean by these two sentences, especially the word white? I don't think, yeah, I mean, they are describing the color of their skin, but that's not all. I think it's more like, it's not really white, but also bright. The, the color of their skin has more, you know, uh, more light, mm, brighter, more light, mm, maybe reflecting that they are with uh, in a more comfortable state of mind or health or a higher spirit or something like that. It's definitely not just the color of their skin. It is the overall description of their spiritual status, I think so. Well, if you are whiter, then you're not black, right? And again, um, I'm not talking about black as a black person. Uh, so some people might be addressing a Ch another Chinese person saying that you are black now or you are blacker than before. And of course, when they say that, it doesn't mean he is slowly changing into a black person, an African person. <clears throat> and even though right now we do have more and more black people uh, living in China, and I understand, of course, uh, the word, the phrase black people um, is now less and less politically correct. So we must use African to refer to them and uh, 
but anyway, I, I think it's just fine. I find it very easy to just use black people because I mean, in Chinese, the language Chinese, we do that all the time now. We don't really have a polit political correctness term, a politically correct term to address that. So anyway, and uh, right now, what I was saying that right now there are more black people uh, living in China because of the cooperation between China and Africa, I believe, is getting more close and intense. Um, and there are actually some voice um, that are discriminating black people right in China. I wouldn't say that's very widespread, but among a small group of people here and there, that opinion can be quite um, can be quite alarming. Basically, uh, if you go online, the, some forums there might be Chinese people saying black people are not good and some discrimination against them. A anyway, so again, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about the prejudice or discrimination in China that's against black people, even though there are some somewhere. Um, we probably will talk about later the discrimination or racial discrimination or racism in China in the future. I'm not ready to talk about it now. Anyway, if you get my point, then uh, to well, to uh, uh, introduce the uh, Chinese for black people, that is a Haitian, Hei as in black, Zhen, people or person, so Haitian is the black people or person. And usually the word Zhong, which means race, is not in that phrase. Usually you just say Heiren. But when you, you can say Bai Zhongren or Bai Ren. Either way would sound more commonly used. Okay? Now I'm talking about the black I'm talking about is more likely referring to tan. Right? You look tan actually is what Chinese person mean when they say Ni Heila, you are black, or you are blacker than before, or he looks black, right? He doesn't mean Ta Chang De Hen He, doesn't mean he is black, but he is uh, tanned. Or there might be other reasons. For example, could be um, a health reason. Uh, I think Chinese. People believe that if somebody is not very healthy, usually or sometimes, this person's complexion or skin might go a bit darker, reflecting an unhealthy um, body. So that could be one of the reasons and why Chinese people don't like uh, other people, or don't like the word black or to be called black. <clears throat> and actually, in these pictures, the... Uh, this guy is actually quite a famous singer. Uh, he is one of those people who got tanned earlier in China. I think about 10 or 15 years ago, I saw him. He was the only one at the time where he, where he, I mean, he just intentionally got his got his head baked, or I don't know how did he do with his head. I just doesn't look right. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> doesn't look right for me. So he's one of those guys that did that to look tanned. So why? Let's talk about why Chinese people uh, use white to compliment other person or other people or use the word black to show his concern or his worry about another person. Maybe it is because that, uh, you know, traditionally or nowadays still, if you are tanned, that means you are having an outside job. You work in the field, right? So your living status is not as good as a, a person who has a desk job. That is possibly the reason. And uh, if you are richer, so you don't have to work outside, so then it's better, it's better, okay? And of course, as I mentioned, it could be a medical reason, a healthy health reason. Why? Well, where Chinese people believe that uh, believe that uh, uh, darker skin uh, could mean uh, and uh, could mean could refer to some unhealthy issues with the body, right? And then 
aesthetically, I don't know. <clears throat> I mean, for me personally, and when I talk with my friends, I've got the same opinions as well. I really think that Chinese people or、uh, the Asian people, when they get darker skin, they don't look as well as the white person who get a who get a tan. At the same time, and when The Chinese person's skin get tanned, it it goes to it doesn't. I mean, I think the tan kills the light of the face in a way. That's what I feel、um, personally,、uh, and some of my、uh, some of the opinions of my friends. But anyway, I think all these are very subjective, and、uh, I'm just sharing that with you. So. Maybe that's why Chinese people don't like to call each other black, and they like to call each other white. And how to do that for the Chinese people? Of course, the the, the easiest way of doing it is to hold an umbrella, and to prevent the sun, the UV of the sun, right?、Uh, so in China, this would be very common. The same in Chinese street. A lot of people are holding umbrellas, and I put a, this picture over here to see. There is actually a dude holding an umbrella, which I have nothing against. But、uh, I have to admit that it's a little bit strange to see. And also, if you go to a、uh, drugstore, then a pharmacy you would find or supermarket you would find a lot of products that are that's purpose are to. Make your skin whiter. Okay, so、uh, and th- those are usually for girls.、Uh, anyway, now let's learn a few vocabulary、uh, on the actual meanings of how Chinese people try to be、uh, white or brighter. The first one is the umbrella. Right, we don't just call it umbrella. Because usually when you say umbrella is for the rain, but this one is for the sun. And in Chinese, it's called zhe yang san. Zhe is to cover, yang is the sun, san is umbrella. I、uh, I changed the color of san into a red because this is one of my favorite Chinese characters. If you look at that, come on, does does it does it look like an umbrella? It is beautiful, basically. For the word umbrella, or for the character umbrella, and then you have uh, the uh, the queen. I don't even know how you call that a white mean queen,、uh, but in Chinese it's called Mei Bai Shuang. Mei, beautiful beauty. Bai white Shuang is queen. So beauty white queen is what you use to become whiter. And funnily enough, because Chinese people don't really like to get tanned, so the fake tan, which is quite often seen in China in Western、uh, drugstores, are not、uh, very often seen in China, and therefore, and it was actually quite difficult for me to f- to think of the Chinese name for it.、Right? So I had to check online and ask a few. Friends who are very good at very good at、uh, the knowledge of、uh, cosmetics, so they told me it could be called Mei Hei Shuang. Mei, as same thing here. Mei, beautiful. Hei, as opposed to Bai, black, beauty for beauty black cream, right? So again, because we don't have that a lot, and the name is not very popular. If you talk, if you say Mei Hei Shuang to my mom. And she probably has no idea what she's talking about. So that's、uh, that's that. And to end this little talk, I would like to add a little Confucius saying, and that's what I plan to do with all my talks on the culture tips,、uh, the tips. And and actually, we find a lot of Confucius sayings online in English, of course, and.、Uh, It is very difficult to find the original texts of Confucius saying in Chinese. Obvious, I think the reason is because、uh, 
um, the translation, some of them are just made up translations. Some of them are translated into very contextual meaning with uh, the possibility of uh, a huge difference between the trans English translation and the uh, Chinese original text. Text. So I thought there would be also a nice thing to share and also a nice little practice. If you could find the original texts, uh, original version of the Confucius saying to this sentence, you might contact me and we will try to work on that, trying to find out all if all the Confucius sayings online in English has actually original Chinese version. Right, so everything has beauty, but not one, not everyone sees it. I think that line is quite befitting to the topic that we're talking about today. And also because, if you look at Confucius, he is very tanned. All right, so thank you very much for watching my video. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.